Alright, today we're gonna be doing a drop fade, a nice, nice drop fade. We're gonna make sure it's nice and bald as the client requested. And we're gonna make sure we keep the C cup. And we're just gonna slightly um just drop it in the back, keeping that shape, and we're gonna do our, do that all throughout the haircut. And it's gonna be a nice, you know, beginner's drop fade, a nice go-to drop fade that you can really do on anybody that anybody could grasp these um, you know, these we might texture the top, but anybody could grasp these techniques that I'm using. Just stay tuned and watch it. We're not really, I'm not really gonna hold you too long. I'm about to get straight into the haircut. You two is going on today. I don't know what I got in store for y'all, but obviously by the thumbnail, I don't know what I'm gonna do today, but obviously by the thumbnail, that's what we're gonna be doing. I believe we gotta, we're gonna have a nice little tutorial. Usually, um, I try to plan ahead for the tutorials and everything, but sometimes it just happens. I just bring my camera to the shop and stuff like that, and whoever I cut, I cut, and that's what I. Make my tutorial on. We can talk about how long it's gonna take y'all to start. I'm giving you the information, I'm giving you all this stuff, all these tips, nice, nice tips. You ain't gonna find no other more simplified tips than this channel right here, guaranteed. You can go through the comments on my old, my, um, you know, my previous videos or whatever. We, we, I really focus on, or we'll target on, you know, the beginner crowd of people that's really truly learning or trying to learn or maybe, you know, just trying to watch the video, I know even bulbers of my, I guess, caliber, you know, there's always, let me close this, right with the top down. We about to go to Sally's, we about to go to Sally's, pick up some stuff real quick. Let's see if Sally's got something. Sally's barely have anything. More so salon and all this other stuff. But how long is it gonna take y'all to, to, uh, to start, bro? You got the foundation. All it is, is just starting. It's like 80% of the world never achieved their goals because they never started. They never even tried it or tried to just attempt the, we're gonna talk about haircut, just the haircut or whatever it may be. They just haven't tried it, bro. Start, starting is the first step. Then discipline, that's what discipline kicks in. Doing something every single day, even if you, whether you're seeing results or whether you're not seeing results. It takes a long time for barbering. Some careers jump off you know further than others you know it just it's just about it's really about passion how competitive you are how much you want to learn and stuff like that are you willing to invest in yourself are you willing to be a sponge and learn from um from other people bro that's what it all boils down to if you slightly take it or take it like a like a side job you ain't gonna make it you might as well stop being a barber. i'm gonna be totally honest with you see me i'm not the barber that's gonna sugarcoat everything i'm gonna give it to you raw exactly how it is Regardless of the fact if it I'm more so of a raw person so if it hurts your feelings it hurts your feelings I try to not say things that hurt your feelings but if it do it do if it don't it don't and me personally I would like a friend or somebody in my corner that would do that for me I don't be running around in my pocket be like oh haircut good haircut fire whole bunch of comment section haircut fire 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 and haircut really trash and I have things that I need to work on but me looking at everybody else giving me information that my haircuts are fire when they really not. And an expert will look at my work and they can see all the flaws and everything. Look at this dude driving so fast. Road rage. But I be looking at a lot of people on Instagram and I, I don't comment or nothing like that. Sometimes I might comment, but sometimes it don't be it. And I be seeing fire, 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 fire. And it's not even halfway good. It's like, but start bro. You gotta start, you gotta, you gotta start, you gotta start somewhere. If you don't start today, you probably not going to start tomorrow, and that's the truth. So start today. So y'all stay tuned, and yeah, let's get into the video. All right, so this haircut, we're going to start off with our trimmers. So we're going to use our trimmers to set in this first ball guideline, and we're going to slightly curve it. And we're going to leave a lot of hair right here, so when we do fade, we can see our secret right here. We're going to preserve as much hair right here as we can for that one area. Just so the seat up can show up a little bit more. And then we're going to slightly drop it in the bag. And I do like to work in sections. So as soon as I do it to one side, I come to the other side and do it. It really doesn't matter what side. Just whatever side um, you're most comfortable on. I usually do start on this side. On this right side of the head because I am um, right-handed. So we're just doing the same exact things on each side. Then you're going to wind up making both of the um, ends meet. This right side and this left side, and you're gonna make them meet in the bag. As you can see right here, we both have both sides that we um first initially created. Now we're gonna just make these two sides connect. 
just like that. Just as simple as that. And you do want to turn them, make sure everything is even. Just making little adjustments. And then what you can do, you can tend to get all this hair off. Or you can leave it there. Sometimes I like to leave it there because it creates more contrast with inside the fade. So we're going to um, blend out this back part for y'all. I'll take off this back part. Just for y'all. But we're going to leave the sides when I start to fade. Just to give y'all a, a little example. So at our first initial guideline, we're going to go up about an inch with the level all the way open on our wall seams. And we're just going to follow the same exact shape. All throughout the hair. We didn't debulk with a number three guard because there's no hair up here to like debulk from. And the hair is already lowered for us. So it's really not going to take that much. Now I'm only going to show you this side. I'm not going to show you the other side. I will show you the other side for the end product. But everything that I do to this side, I'm obviously doing to the other side. So I'm going to continue this and we're going to get back to the rest of our fading process. So right now we're about to start our fading down process. And we're going to start from right here, this first guideline, with the second guideline that we had set in with our clipper all the way open, with our lever all the way open, no guard. And we're going to slowly start the fade down. Fading down is moving down throughout the fade and slowly closing the lever till you get all the way closed. And when you meet all the way closed, it should be right here. This is all the way open. This is the second guideline that we had set in. And this will be all the way closed. So you're going to move down in the fade. And once you get right here, it should be all the way closed. So we're going to start to do that. And it's real simple, real easy. Whenever you're using clippers, you don't want to press down too hard. You just want to let the clippers do the work. <coughs> Your clippers are cutting for a reason. They cut for a reason, the blades move back and forth for a reason. You don't want to irritate the client's scalp or anything like that. And we're just moving down within the fade till everything is faded out. Now we're going to start with a three guard and we're just going to ride the side of the head. Not really cutting into anything, just riding the sides of the head. And this is what our level all the way open. Whenever we set in a new guideline, our level will be all the way open. And the same steps that we use for our second guideline right here, we're going to use it for our three guard all the way open. And we're going to slowly close it over time. And we're just going to move down with inside of the fade. And remember to keep that same exact shape that we've been using. All right, now we have our two guard all the way open. And we're doing the same exact thing. Moving down in the fade. Doesn't really take that much. And follow the first guideline, the second guideline that we had first set in for the shape. And just ride the head. Now with our half guard, we're gonna do the exact, exact same thing. Start with the level all the way over. and just slowly go down. Wherever you left off with the previous guard, that's where you start off with the next guard going down. And as we're going down, we're not moving up with the guards, we're moving down. So this is our half guard, this is a guard after the one guard, the bigger guard after the one guard. And once you clear up that area, get your one guard, wherever you left off with the half guard at, Start the one guard all the way open. And then slowly go down. It's a real nice, easy, quick process. Anybody can get the hang of. And if you feel like an area needs to be detailed, what you want to do, open up your, open up your, um, your lever, close the clipper halfway, and just cut through these little pieces of hair. All in the one and a half guard area. And obviously if the two guard area needed detailing, you would take the one and a half and detail, do the same exact thing, and detail within that area. And then the half guard, 
no guard, halfway, turn it to the side, and start detailing. Now we're at the bottom of fade. We're gonna take this half guard, the smallest guard, and we're just gonna start flicking out at this line at the bottom. Slowly closing, not going up too high. And then we're gonna start detailing. Once that line starts disappearing, just in that one guard area. And it's really that simple, that quick. This is the fade. Let me see if y'all can see. We're gonna do some shear work right here just to blend this in a little bit more. But this is the fade. I gotta blend all this in. I'm gonna show y'all the product after we get done with the whole entire haircut. All right, YouTube, so this is the cut right here. A nice, clean drop fade. I'm gonna show y'all the bag, turn them around and everything. Just so y'all can see. And this is the previous side that I, that I was showing y'all. But yeah, nice clean fade. Anybody can understand it, anybody could get it. It does take time, repetition. Keep doing it over and over again. You'll get the hang of these steps. I basically use the steps on every single client, the same exact steps, because it makes it easier for me, it makes it easier for y'all. If you use the same steps. But it's H5B, if you're not having any business in what you're doing, and we are.